All right, now that our dummy printer is set up, Cure is open, everything's good, we're going to add in our custom configuration files so that we can add our custom Sobel printer. Now I do want to point out, by default, with the newer versions of Cura, there is the option to add in an existing Sovol SV0 Plus uh, profile configuration, but on our end we've actually had troubles with this and it hasn't printed with a consistency, at least in our experience. That may not be true for everyone, but for us we found it to be true. So if you come over here, where you see in Cura, and you see it located in your custom FFF printer, click on that and say add printer. Next, go ahead and click non-ultimaker printer. We're going to do this once more, but I want to show you the existing Sovol configuration file. So if I close this or minimize the ultimaker BV, scroll all the way down. Sadly, they don't have a search feature. I wish they did. We'll find the S's. Let's see if we can find Sovol. There it is. And if I scroll down, notice it has Sovol SV06+. Plus. And the profile author is Ashok Varma. Um, the one we're going to configure is actually going to have the profile author Sobel on it. So I'm going to close this for now. And then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to jump over to the article and scroll on down through all the installation, through all the setup that we just did. and we need to find adding the Sovol SV06 Plus profile. This is adapted from an original Reddit post which I've referenced here and it is great and excellent for understanding how Cura profiles are configured. The next step you're going to want to do is go ahead and click on the Sovol SV06 Plus configuration files. Click on that. That'll open up a GitHub page. Go ahead, click on the download button here. Download that. I've already done it as you can see, so there's no need for me to download a copy. And then go ahead into your downloads directory wherever you downloaded that. Extract it, and you will see the folders definitions, extruders, images, and mesh. Next, to add these into the configuration folder, we obviously need to find out where that's located. So we'll jump back over to Kira. And inside Akira, up in the top, find the Help button. Now, if you've downloaded the, for Windows, the Sovol version, you have some limitations on it, which is why we actually recommend on the Funded Youth side, you use the latest version of the Ultimaker software versus Sovol's version, which isn't bad. It's actually perfectly configured, but we, we ourselves recommend the latest version from the Ultimaker website. Up here on Help, click on show configuration folder and you'll get a pop-up then let's separate these two windows so we can see them side by side of what we're going to be moving over and by default even though you see it now it's not always true you may not have a, an images and a meshes directory but notice the images is empty meshes does not appear there so we can't see meshes so for the first thing I'm going to do is I'm simply going to copy over or move over the meshes into the configuration folder. And then I'm going to switch over and we'll start from the definitions. So I'm going to select this, copy the definitions, go to my definitions, paste the item in. Then I'm going to do the same thing for extruders. I'm going to copy this file. Go to extruders, paste the item in, and last I'm going to do the same thing for Sovol. Now when you're on a Mac, sadly enough, this doesn't show up, but for Windows users it will show up in a rendered environment underneath the platform of your uh, working area and it looks really amazing. It's not necessary, but I'm still going to go ahead and copy it for now. So copy, we'll go into images. Whoop, there it is, let's get back to it. And paste that in. And then we should be good. Now we're gonna come in here and we're gonna close out the Ultimaker software and we're gonna open it back up so it can configure the settings correctly or apply the settings correctly. Next, like we said last time, we're going to select the 
Solvo profile when we add a new printer. So we're gonna come over here to where it says custom FFF printer or whatever it may say, whatever you named it. Click on add printer. Again, add a non-Ultimaker printer. Select a non-network printer. Minimize the Ultimaker. Scroll down to the Solvo. Expand that. Oop, lost that a little bit there. And then find the profile that says Profile Author Sovel. You do not want the Ashko Varma, you want the Sovel one. And we're gonna leave it as is, and then we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna click Add. Look at that. Isn't that cool? So for Windows users, you'll actually see the word Sovel behind it. And that pretty much sets up the initial phase of configuring the profile for your Sobel printer.